Um, your follow-up question is this. I know you've endorsed Heavy Hands Walking previously on multiple occasions, but I don't know if you've ever commented on some of Dr. Schwartz's other ideas, including things like double ski poles. I gotta say this about double ski poles. Mike Brown and I, we did a workout of that not long ago. It, 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 you walking and imitate cross country double ski strokes. Uh, if you ever just say to yourself, I wanna be out of breath, uh, looking kind of silly, this might, the ministry of silly walks and or double ski pole walking are probably the best two ways to, to uh, get your heart rate just pumping through the chest. Yeah, I like it a lot. But your follow-up here, he talks, you, you ask if, if I've heard of Dr. Schwartz's long strength. Yeah, last year, almost about this time, John McKeon, the great, uh, I, I, we used to call them odd lifters, but now they're called all-around lifters. Uh, by the way, his article at Dragon Door on constant weight training, um, I quote it in uh, Easy Strength Omni Book, available at danjohnuniversity.com slash bookstore. Uh, I... I think that article is available on Dragon Door. John McKeon's uh, constant weightlifting is something, it's so worthy of discussion and most people miss it. Um, I tried it for a bit in the Olympic lifts. So you pick like 70%, that worked for me. I don't, I think, honestly, I think 60%, is, I feel like the three little bears, you know, 60% is too light, 80% is too much, 70% is just right. When I was young, the Cuban lifters used to do a lot of singles with 80% and just high, you know, lots and lots and lots of volume with 80% singles. It's the same kind of idea. Of course, the Cubans also slept nine hours every night and took three hour naps. So if you're gonna do 80%, you might have to think about your recovery a little bit. Um, yeah, I like, I like the work of John McKean. I like the work of Leonard Schwartz. Leonard came up with this idea of long strength, and, and you would put a uh, you'd put a a pull up bar at about this height, and I'm standing, and then I squat down, and my arms straighten out, and then I do a pull up squat to stand up. I tried that one time. I got 60 reps, and good for me. Leonard got a thousand, and then the other exercise was the good morning dip. Now, I like that one a lot. Now, if you read my work, you know, I consider myself a push hinger. So obviously that probably worked a lot better for me. Uh, the pull squat was difficult. In hindsight uh, and foresight, that's probably something, both of those exercises, I should probably spend some more time discovering. Um, so it's a, you're standing, you do a good morning dip, good morning dip and uh, you can get a lot of reps on that and it's very joint friendly for the lower back uh, your mileage may vary I liked it a lot okay good questions Josh I appreciate that